What's up you guys, Eddie at Fliptronics. I'm gonna be talking about if 16 gigabytes is enough for a new iPhone or iPad. So uh, with these new iPhones and iPads, there's gonna be live photos and 4K videos, which are gonna take up more storage than uh, we're used to. 4K videos um, are basically four times the quality of 1080p HD. And on a 16 gigabyte, you'll be looking at maybe 10 minutes if you're lucky of um, being able to get a video in the 4K format. If you you know, went with a 64 gig, you're gonna have a lot more space and a lot more room to, uh, you know, have more video and uh, photos on there as opposed to having to delete um, constantly, you know, like older stuff, um, like apps, photos, videos, just to get more, um, you know, more stuff on your phone. So it's kind of uh, strange to me why Apple has, you know, continued with the 16 gig. I mean, even Samsung starts at 32 now, so, uh, it just kind of seems like a ploy to get you to pay $100 extra to just go from 16 to 64 since 64 makes more sense since you can't really do much about getting, you know, more storage. Um, if you do go with a 16 gig, uh, you know, you're probably just going to be somebody who doesn't have a lot of stuff they want to put on their phone. But if you're someone who loves to, you know, record videos and take a lot of photos, then 16 gig will not be enough for a new iPhone or iPad, you, you're definitely way better off going with the 64 because chances are you're going to use the phone for like two years and you don't want to get stuck having to delete stuff all the time. And uh, I think there's only like a 14 day return policy. So um, definitely go with the 64 guys. Stay away from the 16. Hopefully in the future, Apple will stop doing the 16 since, uh, you know, it can barely hold anything. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Uh, feel free to comment below. Stay tuned for more and be sure to subscribe to our channel.